Yay, our septic's done. We are making brackets to hang our meter box. Damn. I'm sure my curve allowance is excessive. Well, since these are gonna be all symmetrical and junk, where do you see curve allowance on here? The curve allowance is just how wide the blade is. Okay. Because you add a little bit, because you'll lose some to the blade, it just becomes chips. So our center. So there's our center. These will go there. So just weld them there? Yep. Okay. My goal is to get good enough at welding that Mike lets me scrub in when it's time to do the beams. I better hurry because that's coming up soon. This is the meter box. Uh, where are the other holes? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, they're under things. None of thought of that. Circuit breaker installation. Hmm. It's probably way different from any other circuit breaker. Doesn't even tell you how to jam the wire into the screw. Shit, we're hopeless. So this is the automatic center punch. I had a better one, this one hits a little light. But crackheads needed my better one more than I did, so here we are. Yeah. Take that, knockouts. I'm thinking probably just hang the brackets, just get it all screwed down, stuff it up on the pole, and lock okay. it in. Okay, and yesterday we made the goal brackets. Oh, your face is up there. Zoom in on the PP region. <laughs> Ready for my close-up? Oh shit, there are knockouts down there. What do you know? The golden bracket. People are gonna get so sick of me. All this haze that you're seeing is smoke from wildfires in Utah and Colorado. I saw photos on Instagram yesterday, people with ash that had rained down on their cars. We're starting to get a little bit of that here. Today is Labor Day. As you can see, our aspens are changing. Winter is coming. I if they want their markings visible. Probably. It's almost like I measured that shit. Mike made my anxious little heart happy and strapped that ladder to the pole. Thank you. And that put an end to our day. Mike did not have a hold of the ladder and it smacked him. It's the day after Labor Day. <laughs> My dogs are going crazy. We're on walkies. Say hi girls. Say hi poopy. <laughs> They're so excited.
The snow is gone, so it's time to work on our power again. Mike bought this chop saw. This thing is freaking amazing. This is the weather head. There's some gunk on it. It's excessive and probably needless. Man, what is that, like a thousand threads per quarter inch? And that's what connects it to the top of the meter box, correct? If you are doing your own power pole, I'm going to tell you a couple of things that we've learned from doing ours, and that is the power company that you're working with, they are going to have their own specific set of guidelines. We're trying to follow their guidelines, but their guidelines have been a little skewed because on the drawing, it does say some information, and the information that they've told us has been different. So I called and verified. And she said, the only thing that we have to worry about is that the weather head is 12 inches from the top of the pole, correct? Yep. And that the meter box itself is no more than five feet to the center of where the meter will be. I'm gonna focus on that. And if they ding us on it, I will refer back to that phone call. And then we will set them on fire. No, so then we will just have a conversation and adjust. I left this real time so you can see just how amazing this chop saw is. It was expensive, but we're going to cut enough metal that it was kind of worth it. Not even hot! Very little, really nothing to clean up. I might drag a screwdriver around the inside of it. So what are the three strands for? Two hots and a neutral. All right, yeah, so... Yeah two legs of 110. These are hot and hot and this is the neutral because it's yeah. got the stripe? Yep. Okay. And these are 110, 110? Yeah. And that makes 220 service. Goodness. Man, that pipe wrench is kind of the shit for this. <laughs> yeah. Pro tip. Minimum is 30. Oh yeah, we have <laughs> more than 30 for sure. Now, I have to consider where the top set is. I don't know if it matters a hell of a lot, I guess. We'll stuff it up as close to the pole as possible then. This is closer to the back than this is, and it's centered this way. By putting this to the back of the meter box, right up close to the pole, whereas... If it were the other way, it'd be far away way, from the pole. There'd be damn near a finger width of gap there. Okay, I understand. Yeah, that's all that is. Mike Iver, ladies and gentlemen. Did you really just do that? Probably. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, anywho. Yeah, I figure it should be weather tight ish. What if I put some junk on these? Hmm. Something like that. Tape was largely an effort and futility, but that's how we roll. Mike had an idea. He's going to go get an eye bolt and some rope, and we're going to hoist it up. If you're enjoying our videos, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe.
exactly long enough to do the job. Yeah, nice work, guys. It's nice to have zero wiggle room when you're up a floppy pole. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, not too shabby. Finally. Yay. Bloody hell. That's probably, uh, yeah, about there. I'm gonna leave that as a handle. It will maybe make this stripping bolt. Hey, hey. It was bigger than in a video about power. I kill two batteries. We'll have to come back and do torque spec and we have to do the brackets. Mike is installing a GFI outlet in a weatherproof box so that we can have power down there as soon as possible. Well, it's suboptimal. Door, you're gonna shit teeth. All right, enough of this for shit. These are both neutral. Just put the red wire where it should be a white wire. Get that out of the way. Hey man, we're having fun, right? Ah oh, geez, forgot to bring the instructions for breaker installation. See? So I need the instructions. Follow us on YouTube. Yep, I'll get right on that so I can stay abreast of the latest developments in outlet technology. Black is hot. Yeah. Green is ground. Yeah, and the red should be white. I'll label it, or if I have some 10 gauge laying around, I'll replace it. And the red is neutral. Yes. It's not as super complicated as many would have you believe. Well, anyway, there's our grounding bus. You want to be good and snug. You don't want arcing happening inside your stuff. Do you leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room in case you want to like snip off that little bit and strip a little more off? Yeah, this is all that's in it. Yeah. So you can leave a little bit extra and jam it in there and it's no big deal. If you were going to run another device, like out the bottom of the box, you're going to have wires come out there. You can attach them to these. Okay. And that'll feed other stuff. Oh shit, it has to be bonded because it's a metal box. What um, does that mean? I've heard that phrase before. Normally it would be a bare wire, but today it's gonna be a green insulated wire. Pretty much you have to put a jumper from the ground wire that's under this terminal to the box. That way if something bad happens, something you know, wire stuck out here and touched the box or something, it could energize that box. So by bonding that to the ground, if that were to happen, it would have a path and you know, it would probably kick out the ground fault on this. But yeah, that way if that happens, you don't get lit up by the damn box. Okay. I'm just not sure I entirely understand. Does it just go into the ground wire? Is that what the wire is for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then the ground becomes the circuit path. Okay. That's, that's the component I was missing. Well, it's in there-ish. <laughs> Is this why we're called the Lazy A-Hole Ranch? <laughs> Load terminals under this label are for feeding additional receptacles. Me, 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 me. Okay. So in a nutshell... The this... long one's hot. Nope. The short one's hot. That one's neutral. That one's ground. Damn. And usually it's kind of color-coded. The silver will be the neutral the brass or gold or whatever will be the hot. It probably tells you, yeah, hot wire, white wire, 
Okay, so small is hot. I've had it backwards the whole time. Small is hot, small is hot, small is hot. Oh, so they have a gauge on there telling you how long to strip your wires for? Yeah, most of them do now. They're nice like that. Oh, that's really neat. Wow. We have a little breaker installed. I am Xenophobe Warrior Princess. <laughs> Is this a ground rod in my hand, or am I happy to see ya? I think if we poke it in right there, we can get away with it. We'll see if we get it. Oh yeah, that won't be anything. <laughs> damn, I've done this before. Ah, to there. While Mike's hammering away, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'm probably want that staple off. You just have to make the red wire white. Yep. Get a staple for this guy. And then I'll call the inspection in. This portion is done. We can check it off the list. You did say that you still had to order the electric wire, correct? and you wanted yeah, to put that in the there. conduit first it's easier so let's do that trench later because we don't need power down there until we're almost until we're yeah. starting to work on the inside let's do the water trench next and let's take care of that okay yeah. so i guess let's not worry about propane or the rest of the electrical right now and let's just focus on water and that that's the only other thing we have to do before we start with the beams and stuff right yeah i believe so let's just do that as much as i'd like to get all the trenches dug and all the conduit buried if it doesn't really make sense to do it now then why do it now oh and we have to do the torque specs on that after it gets inspected we call the power company and then they'll come out and hook it up we are this close to having power, which will, that'll help because we've been using a generator. So I found the white electrical tape we needed. I'm going to put it on the wire now. So you have to rivet it to the front? Yep. Cool. Mike Giver, ladies and gentlemen. The man, the myth, the legend. Mike Giver likes his RTV. Yeah, the sides of this box are somewhat less than weatherproof, but... Do you find this video very riveting, ladies and gentlemen? Leave a comment below. So, brass tag, check. Yay! Getting there. Now get out there and do the thing. I know you can. Thanks, guys.